first tonight, massive layoffs, even closing a local school. All options on the table as Hickman Mills looks to cut more than $5 million from its budget. The district says the financial problems are partially due to an error they made while assessing property taxes. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial live now at Hickman's district office where a meeting is set to begin. And Stephen, what can parents expect to hear tonight at this meeting? Well, Mike, the full board and parents inside in a few minutes will hear a $3 million proposed cut, but that still leaves $2.5 more million in cuts, and so that means layoffs, even school closings, could be on the table. Well, the shortfall of the $2.4 million was a big surprise for the Hickman Mill School District. Major cuts are on the table for the Hickman Mill School District, part of the reason an error in expected revenue from the county. Dr. Yolanda Cargyle is the superintendent. Well, we use the assessed valuation information to set our levy each year, so it's very important. And so if there's an error in that, then there's an area, error with finances and how we budget. Cargyle says aside from the assessment error, declining enrollment has played a factor. In all, $5.5 million needs to be cut. We talked to parents about possible school impacts. That's hard to determine what they can do. I think somebody needs to be accountable for that, and they should have recognized if there was a bigger difference than last year to this year that there was something wrong with the numbers. We reached out to the county spokesperson about the revenue error, but our calls were not returned. Nothing is off the table, including teacher layoffs and consolidating schools. We're exploring moving the freshman to Ruskin, so it'll be, again, a traditional high school uh, framework, 9 through 12, uh, considering moving our kindergarten back to the elementary, sixth grade to middle school. Changes no parent wants to hear. Now at tonight's meeting, there will be no official decision. That will happen at the meeting, hopefully on January 30th, according to the superintendent. Parents, staff, if you're watching this, they are updating their website. Go to our website, 41actionnews.com, to look for that link so that you can know the latest in every step of this proposal. Reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.